Hi everyone, this is Joe from JoeColantonio.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to test a RESTful web service using HP's LoadRunner. So the first thing I think about when testing a web service in LoadRunner is using the LoadRunner web service protocol. But for RESTful, you actually want to use the web HTML HTTP protocol. Now for this example, I'm going to use a sample flight application that came with HP's service test. And I'm just doing this so I have access to a uh, REST service. Okay, so in Load Runner, first thing I'm going to do is go to the tree view. And I'm going to right click on the action. And for add step, I'm going to add the web URL function is the function they use in Load Runner to communicate with the RESTful web service. And so the URL is going to be pretty much the request to the RESTful web service. I'm going to use this flights web service with the get operation. So the URL I'm going to use contains my arguments for departure city and arrival city. So I'm just going to copy this URL. I'm just going to paste in that URL. And I'm going to change the parameter inputs for departure city to equal Denver. And my arrival city is going to be London. Card mode, it's going to be HTML. So let's add that. And now I'm just going to go back into the script view and make some changes. So, what I'm going to do next is just add the record content type and give it the value of text XML. And now I'm going to run it just to make sure there's no errors. Okay, great. So, if we look at our replay log, we notice that the web URL function was successful. So, in order just to get more information in the replay log, I'm just going to enable some extended login features. So if you go to edit your runtime settings and click on log, I'm going to click on extended log and I'm just going to select all the options. Now let's rerun that. So awesome, it passed. And if we look at the extended log now information, we can see that uh, we made a request for get flights for Denver, London, and we got a response back from the service, and it contains all the valid flights for that departure city, arrival city combination. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a quick uh, web reg save param, and we're going to call it check flight number. And for the left boundaries, we're going to use the element flight number. And for the right boundary, we're going to use the flight number element, the uh, close tag. For the ordinal position, uh, I want the first one, so I'm going to specify one. And just to make sure that we're capturing the flight number, I'm going to do a output message. For the eval string property, I'm just going to give it the name of my parameter that I just created called check flight number. Okay, now let's run it and see what happens. Okay, awesome, it passed. We didn't get any errors. Uh, we see the response back from the service. We notice that the first flight number is 20251, and we see in my output message that the flight number captured for the first flight number is 20251. And that's a quick way on how to test a RESTful web service. Hope it helps.